and we've got Negro as black again and Tuxedo as pink. Both are starting off with what looks like a pretty standard build or except he's going for a vehicle factory as opposed to Tux's bot factory. So this uh, metal plant with some pretty nice locations. Lots of metal in the center here. It's going to be a big focal point of this battle. Both are relatively far apart. So we shouldn't need any restarts for this. Not a lot of metal or anything in that area. Or right down here. Which gives a nice balance because if they're going to fight over anything, it's going to be up here. Or down here. Nice strip missing there also. Just about to get power generator done. And it looks like that Sir Tux has queued up quite a bit of power. Which will be important for him to do. Bot factory almost completed. As well as that vehicle factory. And looks like they both pretty much same thing. And just helping out with getting that first engineer out. And Tux is going to go ahead and start getting his engineers set up. Go ahead and grab all of this beautiful metal around here. All around him. Second like engineer slowly coming up while Black continues to go ahead and help building more engineers. And he's going to send three of them off, most likely to grab more metal or build another engineer. All right, power, more power going up here for Tux as his units start to go ahead and get building metal. Looks like that guy's going to go over here and just start grabbing all of this metal there. Another set of engineers coming out here. And more energy going up here as well. Black is making his way forward, it's going ahead and sending out groups of three engineers. Which isn't a bad idea, but definitely does lose some build power. Usually you want to do two, but three works as well. Although, of those groups of three, he could have another group going and expanding more. So it's really up to personal preference. Um, but quick expansion technically would dictate one bot per, but if you want build power plus expansion. Uh, looks like Sir Tux is sending out bots already. Some docks is going around. Just go ahead and scout out the area. See where Black might be. Pretty generalized thing. Go ahead and see if he can take out any expansions that Black is busy doing. Black is building some AA turrets. Just go ahead and halt any attacks into his base or scouting attempts. But it looks like Sir Tux doesn't even have an air factory up yet, so not much for Negro to worry about. Lots of metal going up there for Tux. It looks like these guys are done. Probably queue them up with more over here. Once he notices that they're not doing any more work. More factories going up here. It looks like he's ready to attack northwards. Doxes are coming out. I'm 
Narx is just sort of running around there, looking to see if they can find the expansions. No, it looks like Negro hasn't expanded that far in that direction. But it looks like Sir Tux is heading slightly for it. If he went this way, he would run right into them. And actually, uh, looks like this bot may be going over here, which will give him those. Dux is running past, right past those engineers, which is a lucky break for Negro, because he could have lost all of this. But that Dux is going to hit the main base here in a moment. Now. Uh, he hesitated, and there you go. Nope. Nope. Looks like he decided against going that way. And it looks like he's found the expansion. Destroying those constructors. And will he be able to? Nope. It's going to come up first, and... It looks like Black got the hit, but he's running around with the docks. Nice microwing. Just trying to take out those engineers, which is really going to stall the progress, and that docks is down. Large force starting to come together for Tuxedo. He's not going to waste any time building a military force. It looks like Black is also going to start working on troops. And so, <laughs> Black may be thinking that Tuxedo's actually over here when he's not. Tank's starting to, Ant's starting to move forwards, and Tuxedo may go ahead and start putting up a forward line there. Another air factory going up. Most likely scout back here. See if we can find him. Tech 2 is set up to build. And that's a mutual destruction. There, so now Black has a good idea of where Tux is actually. But Tuxio has successfully stopped expansion in this direction and started pushing black to turtle which is a great thing to do getting quite a few tanks forwards now and oh, looks like they're being pulled back and who knows where they're going Anyways, there's a lot of room to expand over here. It's, looks like he's going to build some more factories here. It's kind of a sad thing to see all of this metal going wasted. Nothing being worked on towards it. Ants coming up here. Going to go ahead and try to push in the sides with those AA defenses. Who knows what might happen. That poor little fabrication vehicle is having trouble. If he can push his way into that power, he can do a significant damage to black, but most likely he'll go for these mexes. More power set up here, not by using any of the area commands, which would be handy at this point. Just sort of putting them out a little bit. A large group going up there. Not sure if that's for Tux, if that's for black. Not seeing engineers heading for that. Only assume it's probably going to be Tux building all of those. Up, oh, ants being microed around, down and around. Uh, who knows where they're going to come out of? Lots of factories going up here for Black. And if he turns those all on, he may lose it. Possibly. Tank's just about to 
Ant's just about to come in range of that. No, it's going north, and he's actually going to hit both of those. Not good. Because all of those troops are going to get killed off really fast. Yeah, all five of them may have been able to take on one, but versus three, there's just nothing they can do against it. Large stream of tanks coming up now. Real hard push on. <laughs> and two vehicle fabricators doing a dance. More power going up. Tech 2 on its way up for black. Tux is working slowly towards it as well. Large stream of troops coming in. Uh, looks like the tanks got killed off here. Large stream coming through and they'll probably amass right here. Try push up in this direction. These two tanks may make it into here but all of those bombers are going to be a problem. More bots coming up and they were probably going to start building here. All these factories starting to pump out ants finally. Getting some more defenses up to protect. Commander actually looks like took a few hits. And those tanks are coming into range. And halfway damaged. Half damage to that. So if these tanks, it looks like they don't have a radar up. So these tanks can stay out of any sort of radar range. They'll be safe. Fighters coming in just to go ahead and scout out the area. Make sure there's nothing behind him. And you should see that it is open. Completely open. First leveler coming off the line. Which is surprising that he's not going for tech 2. Alright, looks like he finally is. Ants coming in, starting to take on those AA turrets. Doing a little bit of damage. Those fighters come in, cause some problems as well. Tuxedo is bringing larger and larger groups together. Let's try to push in as they turtle up best thing would be to go ahead and set up a secondary base and just use some artillery to crack open that base. It's going to be really important, but so many vehicles and it's coming out. It's going to be huge hurt. Bombers are coming in and they are scouting the entire area. Looks like they're looking for the main base of Tuxedo, but they're going to hit all these anti-air and get taken out, as well as those... Oh, nope. And that anti-air is going to rip them a new one. And fighters incoming, and they found the commander, but weren't able to damage it at all. But now he has an idea of where that commander is, and he's going to start sending vehicles that way. Large number of ants coming together here. It's going to be an important thing to do. A laser defense tower up for black. Just to go ahead and hold this. Pink is moving more forces up, and most likely is going to hit this our mex field. Go ahead and slow down any power. And tanks are coming around. Looks like they might be going to try to slip in through here. Tech 2 being set up here for black. He's really turtling hard. Lots of bots being built. Large war economy. Bombers, fighters, and everything going up. Looks like Tuxedo is starting to get some lag here. He'll really want to get on this Tech 2 soon. Or his economy is going to have a hard time coping with everything he's building. Looks like Black is going to try to go for a snipe. Just roll things back through to the back of Tuxedo's base. But 
don't think Tuxedo is going to go for that. Troops incoming, taking on that laser tower. These tanks roll around the back side of the base. And they're doing quite a bit of damage there. Taking down those metal extractors. And we'll see if they come back in here. If they can slip back in here, they will do a lot of damage. And it looks like they are. They're going all the way around the back. And they should see that missile defense tower here in a moment. And start firing. Looks like he's moving away and stuff towards. Just moving those vehicles in, and they're going to get taken out by that missile defense tower. A lot of docks is on their way, just trying to maneuver <laughs> the metal. Go ahead and make their way up here. Take on all of that. And let's see. Black's starting to push its way over, heading straight for tuxedos stuff I'm interesting to see what tuxedo does bombers coming out here soon looks like the economy's strained pretty hard tech two's finally built up here those doxes are taking quite a bit of, quite a few hits from all of those pelters it's really going to need to send out a lot of bombers to take them down and it looks like all of those tanks are moving in and they are going to destroy that poter and it's down with one tank to spare and it's going to go for those poters and he is slipping up through the top there which is actually really important he'll be able to do a lot of damage if he can keep that tank alive more tanks coming together building pretty slowly if you got all of these ones just sitting there and push them in might be able to break through the lines do a lot of damage to black looks like tux knows where black is and how black is trying to maneuver his troops back and he is not going for it and it looks like the tanks are going to meet here in a moment and tux is Getting hit pretty hard there. Pulling all of his tanks to the front. And he's going to need them. Uh, Dox is coming in. And they are going to rip apart this invasion force. More levelers coming out here. Really pushing hard. That. Lots of engineers and some tech too. That is just sitting there which really a big shame because he could really use that to build more troops more weapons all of these factories sitting unused most likely because he doesn't have stuff the resources necessary to build a huge war economy and also manage to, to build defenses more tanks incoming and uh Quite a few more pelters going up there. Go ahead and secure his position. Lots of ants coming in. Just a long line. They're probably going to try to crack open this position here. Actually, more surprised that they are not working on getting more troops up. Um, well, at least Tuxedo isn't working on Tech 2 artillery. If he could put anything catapult something like that here he could break open this entire area possibly kill the commander also those poachers are just ripping apart those troops it's a real big shame and it looks like those ants may be able to sneak around the back and destroy all of these factories which would be a huge hit to black black still sending in more troops which is something Tuxedo is not going to be happy with, and he's going to send in some bombers. Getting some pretty big lag here now. Game's starting to fill up with a bunch of troops.
Large force of docks is coming in. And they're just going to get ripped apart from those po by those pelters. Black is really pushing hard. He's just streaming a huge amount through. I'm not sure if Tuxedo's going to be able to last. He was doing really well, but Black's just pushing hard. But start out with a stunted economy. He's been able to go ahead and advance and push. Tuxedo has spread himself out so much. He may not be able to do it to protect himself against all of the incoming forces. Dox is being sent in just to go ahead and try to stop Black from hitting him so hard. But the amount of time this game has allowed Black to go ahead and get up in orbital, but it looks like it's not being used because Black still has sort of a slumped economy and he's going to need to get out of it before he can do much. All those tanks coming in and fighting against the docks. Docks are rushing up really quick, taking out the incoming troops, doing a lot of damage. A lot of tanks sitting here by black, not really doing anything, which is kind of a sad thing to see. Also some levelers there, and just sort of hanging out. Looks like he's trying to get more Tech 3 builders, and a nuke's going up also, as well as an Astraeus, which there's another planet, which I apparently didn't notice. It's another lovely planet, which would really help him build a bigger economy. metal going up. Not a lot of bombers coming out. These bombers are just eating away at all of these tanks. Black has almost completed a nuke launcher which will allow him to effectively <laughs> really hit Tux hard. Power going up here for black. As well as Astraeus being built. You have some more tech too. Which he's really going to need. Bombers coming in harassing all of those tanks. It's going to be a pain to deal with. Some ants coming in to go ahead and try to attack the back. Lovelers pushing forwards from Negro but these should act as early warning and it looks like Tux knows that troops are coming in around the sides he's going to send some troops there no nuke being built sadly though uh, just sort of sitting there with nothing to do as Tux continues to build up his economy working on orbital as well as a nuclear launcher just going to go for it all together. Tuxedo pushing up with a ton of ants. Going to try to take out those levelers ASAP because they could be a huge problem. And it will be interesting to see who gets up a nuke first. Anti nuke is starting to be built there. By black and just about to take down that metal extractor and it's gone so a small victory there bombers flying around taking out whatever troops they can
Well, lots of tanks coming in, and they are pushing hard. Tux is really going to need to see about sending out all those doxes against these troops, because they are going to hit hard. Looks like he's building a Hulkins ASAP. Go ahead and try to secure this area. But that may not help him at all. Bombers still doing their things of the troops. Looks like that stress is up. And it is circling. Circling. Still circling. Who knows what it's up to? Dars is coming forward to try to stop that ant invasion. Nuclear launcher finally completed for Tux. Lovelers coming in and doing a lot of damage. And now they're just sort of sitting there. Tanks incoming and they may be able to break through and hit Tux. It's commander. The only thing standing between them and victory is really just that turret and they are all aiming trying to kill Tux and actually if he can get a miss nuke off he will be victorious but his nukes nowhere near completion and so he's going to lose with that push but the commander takes a lot of damage his leveler is taken down as well by a large push of ants by Tux more levelers incoming though trying to hit him and with that Hulkins up here in a moment, it's not going to really matter. Nuke is about core wave way complete. Commander has been picked up now by the Astraeus. And it looks like not doing anything. Lots of ants being built. More levelers on their way in. The commander's been repaired. So it looks like any chance of simply nuking him and winning is out the window. Stress has been... Nope, it didn't pick up the commander. It picked up an engineer! And the engineer is off. dun dun, -dun. More vehicles coming in, and it looks like the Hulkins tried to take a shot, but is not able to hit it, which is actually surprising. Ah, oh, there we go. Cedo is not too happy with that comes, and we've got some slammers coming out actually. Now from Tuxedo, and he's working, still working on that orbital. Nukes being built as well. Looks like those levelers are just sitting there without anything to do. They probably complete over here. Well. And it looks like they're coming in. And. Incoming fire here. So those levelers get taken out by those ants. Levelers may have increased range and damage, but those ants can swarm over them really well. Nick's partway done, but not finished yet. And it is close up. Probably up in the air now. Air superiority is up to Tux, but definitely the ground is being held by Negro and with his guy on the way out should be able to make it here pretty soon and that will be one of the deciding force factors because if he can get building up there he will have a lot 
Looks like he's got an anti-nuke up, which will protect him from any incoming nukes, and that will thwart Tux's attempts to go ahead and destroy it. Hulkazin is doing well, however. It looks like a deep space radar is being set up here by Tux so that he can get an early warning up. The stress as well is going up for Tux, and it is unlikely he'll be able to do it. Get his, make his way over there before Black. If he does take his commander over there, it will actually be a great chance for Black to go ahead and snipe him. Black will have quite a bit of time to go ahead and build up troops. Nuke is getting close to complete, about 25% way left. And just the single file line that those tanks are getting in, they're just getting murdered over there. More tech 2 going up, allowing them to build slammers. And the nuke is almost complete. Oh, will that lone tank find its way into the power? And if he can skirt around the edge, he might be able to do well. Slammer's rushing in, getting hit hard by those ants and just taken down really quick. And the nuke is away! Dun -da -da, da -da -da -da. As another nuke starts getting built. And Tuxedo, as far as we know, does not have an anti-nuke. And if it's aimed directly at the center of his base, it is going to be a huge loss for him. That nuke is heading inwards, inwards. It's coming in. And there's not a, a thing Tux can do. And it's going to land... Strain the middle of his power supply, it looks like. And there goes a huge amount of his power supply. Along with all of those engineers, and his commander has taken a big hit. That nuke hurt really, hit really hard, and has a possibility to allow. Black to re-establish control in the game. Tux is trying to pull his commander away, get him out of the area. But Black is definitely working quickly on another nuke. All those troops pulling away, it's actually surprising. These ants are going to roll right in the side of the base and might be able to do a lot. And they're pushing forwards, getting some nice shots off, killing the doxes that are coming upon them. Ants being pulled back. And lots more of Black's troops are coming in. And Black may have it this in the bag. Dox is incoming. Gonna try to sneak around the back side of the base. And it actually looks like Tux's game crashed. As his troops are moving forwards. And Black is sending out an overwhelming force. And 
and black is sending troops in. And with that, most likely, it's going to be the end of the game. A lot of levelers incoming in the nuke almost complete. There's not much that Tuxedo could do. And Black is sending in fighters and bombers. And all those levelers just going run through the base. And in comes the nuke. And commander's down.